Hello and welcome back. We're here for the final round of Swiss for the World Championship Qualifier Playoff. And we've got something we don't normally do, which is featuring the same player again. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty stacked. It is a small tournament, so we are actually <laughs> running out of players that we haven't featured sure. already at the top tables because some players that are at the top tables have performed over the entire tournament. Absolutely. And something really interesting happened here because we are featuring the player that lost in round number one. Bryce Dorley wasn't able to win round one with Dark World, but from there on, he managed to win all of his matches and now sits there three and one, facing now against Ryan Jabri. Yeah, Ryan Jabri just lost to another player, obviously. <laughs> and, <laughs> wow, wow, really. But interestingly enough, at the top tables, we were just checking them out, a lot of branded players yes. are doing really well. And additionally to that, a lot of the French players are on Branded, so vice versa, all the French players are actually doing really well in this tournament too. So we have another match of two French players coming up. I don't know, but it seems like Euros or the World Qualifying Points player before Euros as well is just the event of the French players. Because remember, like, Sami Basha versus Gabriel Susi in the finals. They're always doing really well. Uh, I think next year we've got to watch out. We might have some French people in the commentary booth instead. Oh, no. They're coming for not, us. Yeah, if we're not watching, <laughs> they it's a takeover. <laughs> they are definitely ready. And I think they are actually ready to play this final round of Swiss. This game matters super, super much to them because only one of them has the chance to move on to top four. Let's get into the playing action. Let's see this round number five. It all comes down to this, basically. There is a small chance, if you are going X1 in this tournament, that you are not going to be included in the top four cut in the end. It is going to be tough for Bryce because he lost round one, but he still has a good chance. The person he lost to, Gabriel Susi, still did really well for himself in this tournament. So there is a chance. That was also a very, very strong handshake from Bryce. I think that's yes. the that's the biggest. That was a proper proper flex. Yeah, yeah. Not, and I mean, I've not seen that on he, he will before. be happy because he just won the die roll. So he is starting off here with his Dark World deck. And what do we have there? Oh, oh. that hurts. Why? I would have said that. I was usually. thinking, yeah, I think all of us probably. Like, usually you're not you supposed to set it. Or, or you could just activate it. <laughs> yeah, that's also so crazy. That, that makes me curious. What is the rest of his hand? It, it must, must be yeah. insane. <laughs> or, like, also, a lot of Dark World cards, apparently. One of them for sure is going to be Genta, because that's the one being discarded right there, searching us for Gates of the Dark World. Genta, one of the newer Dark World support cards. And it's absolutely, so nice. yeah, oh. it's so strong. Oh, we do discard the Zelamander Catalyzer, uh, which not really uh, something to discard, is it? Yeah. Nope. It's special summon itself from hand by discarding another card, or not by discarding. That would mean that it's cost. Oh, and he has to go into Dugaris, and honestly, going into Dugaris that early kind of makes me think that his hand doesn't play any further without drawing into more cards. But that's what he's doing with that Dugaris, <laughs> so he might as well be starting off strong here with this. It is quite a last-ditch play sometimes, but I think if you're playing against Branded, it's, it's not super common for Branded oh, to be running a lot of Oh, and there's Sephiroth being discarded, and that's not only a monster you can special summon, but that's also a way to recycle yeah. the Gates of the Dark World. We saw it right there. He can just activate it again, and he can use the effect one more time. That's really strong once more. Hopefully he's, he's got another Dark World. I mean, at this point he must have some, but uh, let's see, okay? Oh well, yeah, gates. he's activating the gates. There he is. The absolute best one is probably the new uh, Graffa Overlord, uh, Rainbow Overlord. I think it special summons something from. Oh, it searches a oh, level. Oh, there's Graffa being five. discarded. Okay. Yeah, it searches another Dark World when it's discarded. Oh, and there's Nasty. Okay, so we found another danger. Let's see. Four cards in hand. One of them is going to be discarded, and it's going to be. Oh, it's Radiant. Okay, I mean, that's a card you can't do anything with on this turn. So. Might as well get rid of it. I love the synergy it has with. Uh, with the Dark Worlds being a fiend itself, so you can discard it for gates if you want to and banish it with gates and so on. Absolutely. So, oh, and another danger. There's and you, know what, you know what four monsters means? Oh, or five monsters? Not yet. I mean, there's also <laughs> Grappa coming down, putting the Silva back to hand. And 
Yes, from that only from that one Dugars on the field, a lot have uh, a lot has evolved from there. Not gonna lie. But uh, have we actually taken a proper look at Bryce's deck list? Uh, what what kind of cards does he play for his Enfield? Is he playing the Ceruli combo? Oh, he's definitely playing. The yes, yes, combo. yes, yes, one Ceruli. All right. There is a Ceruli, but first of all, we're going into Ceruja. Very similar names, but this one is yeah. drawing four cards. <laughs> Ceruli it doesn't draw any cards, you know, it makes you discard cards. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I mean, Ceruli, of course, a card you would like to draw with the Ceruja. So <laughs> at that point, kind of a connection between the two. One of the most funny interactions about Ceruli is that it activates, it's your opponent activating card, obviously, that's the intention, and it lets you get your Dark World monster effects off. But it also lets you activate Triple Tactics Talon. Ooh, there's another Ganta <laughs> being discarded to search for another Gates. And honestly, I think the trend so far in the tournament is that we saw all the power decks, all the very, very yeah. uh, aggressive decks that can put out huge fields or maybe even try to go for some kind of a hand loop like the Dark World deck, are doing really strong. The decision to play those decks has been paying off so far. All the runic decks are somewhat struggling. They are, they are still some in competition, but they're definitely not safe or anything. And the branded players and also the Dark World player here, they are doing really, really well. Yeah, it's amazing to see. Like, we we haven't been seeing, I mean, we haven't featured a Kashtira yet. True. Uh, I think uh, Nadir and Marcello and Alberto did feature one, but we saw it lose. So not, not too much of a shout, even though that probably would have been the deck on everybody's minds going yeah. into this. So there's Nassi now. Again, four cards in hand, and this time it is Vanessi that is being discarded, but as we know, you get we a just replace it with <laughs> yeah. another one. What are we going for here? It's Mothman. And look, Rian immediately grabs the dice again. He knows, okay, yeah, we're just going to re-roll. Still four cards in hand, and is he going to hit the danger once more? All right, and Mothman wouldn't even oh, be too low. Oh, no, that is, is a good really one strong. for Bryce immediately getting to search another Dark World card from the deck, and now you can slowly start putting together those combo pieces. Get the Cerulees, get the Silvers, but you have to find a way to discard those. Yeah, it feels very unlikely the Dark World deck's going to fizzle out at this point. Normally it, it has to do it quite early. I think by this point you know, he's going to start, you know, once he gets one more Dark World in play, then he can add two more back, you know, summon it, add it back with the both the graph around the rainbow. It just, you start to accumulate so much advantage. I think a fairly easy way uh, to get Dark Worlds into the graveyard is just uh, the Muckwrecker, because there are two yeah. monsters on the field, True. so you could just easily go into Muckwrecker, and that would enable you to go for it very, very, very easily. Uh, that, that was just a sorry user summon as well. I, <laughs> I would think so too. Silva was quickly being summoned there by Seruya, and it gets immediately bounced back to the hand through the Grafa summon. And we have the accession as well in hand now after the surge. So it, it looks like it's really going well for Bryce. This kind of gives me a uh, Muckracker vibes here. Yeah. Oh, oh. Cross -sheep. let's go Cross Sheep. That's I stand also corrected. Nice. Cross Sheep makes a lot of sense. It's Especially great if you can fusion summon. Yeah, exactly. He, he now has access to his session, so we are going to trigger the Cross Sheep off of the fusion summon of... I mean, I'm assuming... Wait, there is only one fusion monster in his extra deck, right? Yeah. yeah, there's only the Grafar Dragon Overlord of Dark World, and that's probably what's going to come down here. And when I I'm saying probably, <laughs> it is 100% going to be Grafar <laughs> Dragon Overlord. <laughs> that lets you proc the Cross Sheep and the Ascensions engraved, so then you can discard again. I don't think he's going to run short of discard outlets anytime soon. Probably not. Yeah, and hasn't used Muckraker yet. Yeah, and also um, the Grafar Dragon Overlord of Dark World is not that great versus Runic decks, but versus yeah. Branded specifically, <laughs> being able to negate Branded Fusion is actually like really good. It doesn't even negate Branded Fusion, you know? it just changes its yeah, effect. Yeah, true, it still resolves, <laughs> true, it does You can resolve. resolve your Branded Fusion. It will just discard <laughs> me one card out of my hand, which doesn't really help you, let's be honest. <laughs> Bryce is just comboing off with Dark Worlds here, who would have known? That is insanely yeah, cool. Yeah, if you'd asked me like, why, do you think Dark World's going to be competing for the World Championship spots? I would have laughed at you, but yeah. you know, <laughs> I'd have been wrong. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are not done yet. There is the Rainbow. Rainbow is an absolutely crazy card, just getting back any of your Dark World monsters from the field. I think level 7 or lower. Super strong. Yeah, end. Rainbow is a level 7 or lower, but then Graffer is any, so you yeah. bounce back Rainbow, and yeah. then you bounce the Rainbow back to your hand with Graffer, if it wasn't already banished. 
just filling up your hand again. Now imagine he had the card destruction. <laughs> that would have been crazy. And I mean, the, it feels like there was no need to not set it, right? Like, he could have just easily set it. Yeah, it might have been a bit of an oversight. I mean, one thing, if, if your opponent's not interrupting you, you don't necessarily want to just give them a brand new hand for the sake of it. Fair. I mean, even though you get a lot of advantage, you don't... I guess, like, if you think you can do everything you need to without playing it, then... So, and I think it's finally time for the Muckcracker. Yes! Oh, okay, he's still contemplating, but there it is, hitting the field. Muckcracker, not as a cost, but as part of the yeah. effect, is going to discard one card out of the hand of Bryce Dorelier here. And that oh. will trigger maybe the snow he just uh, considers there, and that would lead to more Dark World cards in his hand. Yeah, it seems that he might value the snow, the search more than another body oh. on the field. We are just. One extra normal summon. Right. We just we did can do that as well. Yet. Oh, yeah. They've been doing so much. It can be difficult to keep track of sometimes because, I mean, this turn's already been going on Whoa, for the Whoa, I did minutes. not see Unicorn coming, to be honest. That gets you an extra draw. And it wow. does shuffle back the gate! Bryce playing with his opponent at this point, just shuffling back his own cards, drawing cards through it, and now being able to search for gates again if he gets access to Genta again. Yeah, and now he can use Muckracker. And okay, he has a big foot, he has a full hand, so it's a good chance that he's going to hit something other than big foot. He hasn't oh, been too back, lucky. Back up to six cards in hand. Oh, a session discard, very nice. He can use the Muckracker to discard Snow and then search for a Genta and get the Gates of the Dark World as well. Oh, a lure of Darkness. So, lure. so much going on here. He can afford to banish the Radiant here because there's no monster to tribute on Rian's side. Are we going to see a regular good field here with Apollosa uh, as yeah, well? Yeah, we've already oh. got Apo and Graffer, and I think then you just uh, loop some of your opponent's hand and you say that's probably enough. <laughs> I mean, there's also Nightmare Griffin in the extra deck of Bryce Dodelier. We know that more of the yeah. uh, more from the Life from Runic Sprite decks, oh. but he's also able to summon. Oh, but first of all, there is going to be Security Dragon being summoned, but that's probably just a way to link up even further, I would assume. Yeah, I'm not sure. It has to be co-linked, right, in order to bounce a card? Yeah. Oh, we're re-rolling. We're re-rolling twice. And this time it's going Ooh. to be the snow. Perfect. Oh, boy. That is huge. Nessie is discarded. We are finding one more spell card. I wonder what that one's going to be. Is he going to search for the Ceruli finally? This is yes. getting dangerous for Ryan. This is Dark World dangerous for sure. The dangers are doing the work and the Dark Worlds are probably going to do their thing now as well. Oh, and let's just draw some more cards with the Allure of Darkness too. Does he have any secured discards in his hand though? There is another Jackalope. Uh, the Muckracker at very worst is a discard. He hasn't used the Muckracker yet. Yeah, I think tough to imagine, but yeah, I mean, you do just make like link monsters just because yeah. you've got so many, you're overflowing with monsters. So I'll just make this now and then use it later, kind of thing. He couldn't have used uh, some of the security drain. Exactly, otherwise. you want to wait with the Muckcracker to make sure that you can summon out all the link monsters beforehand, because as soon as the Muckcracker resolves, you are just completely locked into fiend monsters, which is not a problem for the Dark World monsters in general, but for your extra deck, you are somewhat uh, limited then. Yeah, and the dangers. Are yeah, true, those as well. Are we going to go into dark or something just to make room? In yes, the <laughs> indeed. <laughs> I mean, if you re, uh, use the jackalope or discard anything, discard this really, you have to have the space to special summon out the silver as well. So another danger being revealed. Bryce shuffling his hand. Ryan is just having fun at this yeah, point. Yeah, I mean... He's rolled a dice like eight oh, times. Oh, and we are discarding the snow. Oh, boy. Is Did there even a target left snow? in the deck? Oh, yeah, yeah. Snow Search is any Dark World card, so... Well, I mean, look at his deck. There's like <laughs> ten cards left on there. Oh, oh, look. There, oh, looks like there's none. No way. <laughs> He's confirming it. There's no Dark World card he can search anymore. What just that? Oh, wait. There's a lot of Dark World cards, though. That's his hand? No. That, that is his deck. Why, why is his hand mixed with his... Uh, what, what happened to his hand? I no, think it, it is somewhere else. Um, not, not everything oh, is mixed oh, is Ryan up. Just I think that's just conceding. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ryan sees no way to win this game anymore, and therefore Bryce Dorley with Dark World takes game number one here in this last round of Swiss match of the qualifier. Holy! It makes sense that if you know that your opponent is able to search the gates, that he can just summon out the Ceruli and therefore just just go for a game at this point. So uh, still, he waited for quite a long time, didn't he? Yeah. yeah maybe I, his I, opponent can't I, do it. <laughs> I was thinking, it seems strange to wait for like 10 minutes and then like not just let them 
finish that turn. Yeah, that, that is true. I was I, I would have loved to see it to be honest. Yeah, true. <laughs> but now game three maybe something yeah. interesting is going to happen because something we've seen very regular and we also have seen in this tournament already is that branded players are going to summon out the Jimic puppet to their opponent's side of the field. Ryan whatsoever, has decided to not run that card at all. So it's not going to happen in here. He decided to side a different card, though, which is kind of popular as well in many different decks all of a sudden. And it's Eradicator, so we might see him siding an Eradicator. But is it that great versus Dark World, even? Because yeah. there's like a couple this of spell like, cards. They're all quite good, though. They are drawing a lot. So if you oh. eradicate your opponent, they True. go for danger plays, and they draw into the gates or the allure or the triple tactic turns, this actually might influence it. Also, it's kind of like trap dust shoot. You always know all of the cards in your opponent's hand. Very important. <laughs> Until well, they've yeah. Yeah, drawn them all again. <laughs> that is a good point as well. <laughs> Until the, the hand is completely recycled. That is, of course, But I mean, you, you see everything, you see, yeah, everything yeah. he draws. So like, oh, you yeah, will always true. be perfectly informed. So that's kind of nice. It's kind of fun. Yeah. But uh, besides that, looking at the extra deck, or rather the side deck of Ryan Jabri, I see there's uh, Nick Roll Banshee. So he actually hmm. valued the Flu on the Reese matchup because uh, Banshee plus Zombie World is something you want to side in versus Flu on the Reese. Maybe he knew that every Italian player was on Flu on the Reese. I mean, they are. So it yeah. definitely wasn't the worst decision. Quite frankly, judging by the top tables, I did not really see any of them really performing well with it, though, right? I didn't. I don't think any of them is really left in the tournament. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe Lurilusk would have been the better bird call. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank but you. yeah. Um, besides that, of course, we have said it earlier. Dark World can play through fields pretty well going second, so they don't really have much space for non-engine cards in their deck whatsoever. He's bringing some in from his side deck. It's Book of Eclipse in there, I which is. Okay, it's actually quite good for his brand, to be honest. I would definitely have my eyes on those Bestials as well. Yeah. Those are kind of nice too, not gonna lie. Even Caught by the Grave going second and is a decent card to side in. They are just extra bodies to link off in your turn after that as well. So I think that the Bestials are definitely going to make an impact. Linking off Drew's Room seems kind of nice. I yeah. gotta agree on that. <laughs> I do agree. Absolutely see that. Then there's Ghost Sister and Spooky Darkwood. Just uh, <laughs> gaining a billion <laughs> life points so that the duel can never ever end. Mm. Who knows? Maybe the players will show us that now because they are done with sideboarding. So game number two coming up now. We are back for the next game. Last round of Swiss World Championship Qualifier Points Playoff. Insane. Yes, it doesn't get much more intense than that. And it's going to be branded opening, being the opener here in this second game for Ryan Jabri. Very, uh, yeah, brand, branded opens with branded opening. Yeah. There you go. Uh, oh, and we're not summoning out the usual Aluber. Wait, that looked like a Jimmy Pup to me there. Did it just completely miss it? Oh yeah, there's a Jimmy Puppet in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow there is actually he a Jimmy so Puppet. He was so excited to see a branded deck without the yeah. Jimmy Puppet. <laughs> even, even before the match, you can't use it. Did you know? Yeah, there's no Ryan? Jimmy Puppet, but yes, there is. <laughs> Ryan isn't playing it. It was very well hidden uh, at the bottom of his deck list, though. I couldn't really catch it. But uh, what I was about to say is that he did not summon out the Alubler to search out Brandon Fusion. But there is a very easy explanation for that. He already had Brandon Fusion, yeah. and therefore he could just summon out the Guiding Quen. I think the Cartesia and Starlight Rare, if you're looking at it from a different angle, it kind of looks like a Fusion card as well. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. So we are going to resolve the effect of Albion here. Oh, wait, it's, it's Lu Lubellion already that's resolving, right? Because he put something back to the deck. Lu uh, Lubellion, yeah, Albion already resolved to summon the Lubellion. Yeah, so there is the next Lubellion now, the Bistial Lubellion, and that is going to activate Branded Lost right from the deck. All the Lubellions, yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's two Lubalions and two Albions, right? Yeah, it got confusing by now, right? <laughs> we have to come up with different names. There is Katija's effect being used now. Together with the Lubalion, it's going to be Grand Gunyol being summoned. So the important part is going to be what side deck cards did Bryce pick up in his opening hand, or maybe as his sixth card as well, because Preventing Ryan from summoning the gimmick puppet is going to be crucial to this matchup. Priority number one, I, I totally agree. So as you mentioned, there's the call by the grave, and then the bestials. But other than that, I don't, I don't really see what the plan is. 
Albion the Sanctifier Dragon says that he summons two monsters from the graveyards. Yeah, so that's like it got a little bit worse for Brenner players now because usually uh, you would not do it with Albion, but you would do it with the trap card summoning back from either the graveyard or yeah. the banished pile. So that could actually just play around Bestials and Call by the Grave. Yeah. But nowadays you can't do that anymore because Albion, the uh, Sanctifier Dragon, specifically requires you to special summon back from the graveyard. So Bestials and Called by the Grave very well work against that. So <laughs> one, thing, just... one thing I can see though is now that there is Brand loss, we could just summon out the Albion on the opponent's turn yeah. via Brennan and Rat, and then um, immediately make it use its effect. So oh, that I your mean, opponent to, cannot respond to it. To be fair, Bistials are still all oh, right against Brennan and Rat. Oh, you should use. You the can just chain to the Brennan and Rat, right? Yeah. No, that's, there there that's won't possible. be an Albion in play. Yeah, true. That's right. I mean, also in the end phase, it kind of would work to just to just go for a Magna Mood or Druis on the on the gimmick puppet. Yeah. Yeah. At this point. Once it's banished, it's gone, right? So we are searching for Branded and Rat. That is interesting. Does that mean we already That's have? Cunning. That oh, means okay. We are immediately now, going. Yeah. Wait, we are immediately going to activate it, targeting the Fallen of Albus, fusion summoning away the Grand Gunyol, or, or not the Grand Gunyol. We do fusion Grand Gunyol and Fallen of Albus into the Albion now. There it is. Grand Gunyol might not look like it, but is in fact, despite having Dragon in the name, is a spellcaster. Much like Draw and Lockbird, <laughs> having Bird in the name is, is also a spellcaster. So immediately, Rian wants to activate the effect of Albion, and it does resolve. Oh, so that's a tough one. Bryce gets a gift that he doesn't really want. He gets the Jimmy Puppet onto his side of the field. <laughs> Bit of a Trojan horse, isn't it? Yeah, and he looks into the camera, being totally happy about it. <laughs> what a show he's putting up here in this super intense match. He has time to play with the camera. What a man. And, and now he just goes, well, what am I going to do? <laughs> okay, take right. your gimmick puppet. <laughs> and I don't that want is it. game number two. Ryan Jarry takes it with the gimmick puppet. And that means in this last round of Swiss, we're also going to have a final and deciding third game. To be fair, Bryce really worked so hard in the first game to get to this combo where Ryan just said, OK, I'm going to concede this game. Yeah. Brian, uh, Ryan made it just a little bit easier for himself, right? Quick and easy, really, yeah. Why make it long and complicated, you know? Exactly. Just, just take the win. T take the gimmick puppet as well. <laughs> to be honest, if there would have been a bestial, yeah. that would have been quite crucial, right? Because the summon of gimmick puppet doesn't happen, and what's left there? I mean, there is a mirror jade, yes, but besides that, what are we even facing? Not, not that much, not, right? Not much. Yeah. yeah. That's why I don't like why I, why I would have liked to not go for the Jimmy Puppet Lock because I think just doing your regular branded stuff is good enough and maybe a little bit more flexible now that's, that there are bestials true. everywhere. Yeah. It would have been a really good call for this event because we have mentioned earlier there aren't that many Dark Ruler no more in the yeah. decks of the players because totally. that, that, that is what this uh, bigger combo kind of suffers from, yeah. loses against in a way. And this time it would have been just perfect to not go for a puppet lock and then maybe lose to bestials. Yeah, I do agree. But there were no bestials, that so Rian Jabri just takes this game too, and maybe he now brings in bestials on his own. I mean, there are bestials in his main deck already. Yeah. We just saw it. There is the bestial Lubalion, and let is me there see what any is other? that's what I'm checking. Not, not really is the one you want when you're going second, is it? Doesn't oh, wait. There's one Siren there's one here, Siren. so there's a very very slim chance that he's going to open with a bestial that he can use on his opponent's turn because it's only Siren here, and he's I'm apparently not bringing in any. Oh wait, that, that's the yeah, that's Ryan. Yeah, I'm really, I d I'm not seeing anything really. That Ryan's gonna want to bring in. That's here. a that's a really tough one. That's a really There's one bad dark uh, ruler no more. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. You lose your hand. You, you know that what is that the case, ki yes. kind of tells me that if he uh, that kind of means that he didn't play that much with his French French players, right? Because if if you know that everyone is playing the puppet lock, then you can't just go with one Serenier and then just just wing it, right? I mean, maybe the French community agreed on, hey, let's just get some of us into the World <laughs> Championship. Yeah. So we are all going to play the brand attack. And if we play against each other, it's fine, because one of us is yeah. going to make it. And uh, therefore, they just treated it as a community project oh, to send is, someone is, to Worlds. Uh, 
way better explanation than what I had, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I like it. Working yeah. together as a country to maybe be the country that presents, represents the most people from Europe at the World Championship. I mean, who doesn't love that? It's an interesting strategy, like, just say, like, I'm not, if I play against my friends, like, neither of us have got cards in the side deck for each other, we're just going to go for it. Yeah. <laughs> One of us is going to Worlds. That's, that's a positive thing. That's I, a nice I thing. I feel like I did the opposite whenever I went to a tournament. Like, <laughs> my friends' decks, yeah. it wasn't like I was expecting to play with friends, but I would always be heavily influenced by what they were playing. So I would be like, wow. <laughs> Wow, you know, I need to side deck for this deck because it's clearly that's, really strong. That's really hard if you're having one friend who's playing like a rogue deck and you're <laughs> sitting there with your Zodiac deck and you're going like, I really need something for yeah. Chain Burn. Exactly. <laughs> you always need something for Chain Burn. And that isn't true. 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 Absolutely. Still today. <laughs> Every but event that will be Chain Burn. By the looks of it, we are going to be ready for the last Swiss game of this very intense World Championship Qualifier Playoff. Only four players are going to make it into the playoff top cut. One of them is going to be the one winning this game right here, maybe. So let's get back into the final action. Let's go into game three. You know, after our little conversation, I think that I'm starting to beginning to think that maybe the reason I'm not appearing in top cuts anymore is because I always over prepare for chain burn. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> I definitely gotta say so. But Bryce has no problems finding danger cards because he immediately starts off with activating one of them again. Oh, and that's oh. a nice discard. Hello, Snow being discarded to the graveyard. Oof. Good this start. Is a tough one. Good that start is for him. just not what you want to see if you're Ryan, is it? And we are immediately going for the Genta, and Genta is immediately discarded for Gates of the Dark World, and now that is a proper combo. Yep, he's ready to go here in game three. The sort of tantalizing thing about Dark Worlds is that they, they it's oh, not oh, like oh. fixed, you know. When you're playing brand you see you see like three cards and you know they're gonna have everything. Whereas Dark World, even if they're off to this like perfect start, you still don't know. You can still kind of hope that something's gonna go wrong for yeah, them. Yeah, that's true. But I mean he just discarded the second copy of yeah. Snow, oh, yeah. so I think he's definitely doing great. <laughs> we and are searching for the Cerulean. Instantly adding here. Cerule makes it feel like oh, that's almost Bryce combo. has got everything he needs. I mean, this is a muckraker already. <laughs> so there comes Danger Mothman being revealed, and maybe we are now discards the Mothman, and that makes him draw into his bestial Sauron here potentially. <laughs> just say he gets a draw here. Oh, and I mean, discarding tragedy also secures himself a surge. Ooh, Ryan can actually activate cards, and that means that he has one more card in hand, so he's not going to be full hand loot. Oh, well, now you can actually, because the reason you have to do it for five is oh. because silver doesn't work right. if your opponent has two cards. Oh, no. One card. <laughs> oh, no. So if you have six. Oh, no, and Cerule is already on the field. <laughs> yeah, we are going like for two Cerule right away. normally makes an appearance uh, below the extra monster zone, but. Maybe Bryce is going to use the Security Dragon to bounce it rather than the Akashic Magician. Is he running Akashic Magician? I don't think so. Let me check. There is only the Security Dragon. Okay. All right. So he can't loop for <laughs> he can't loop for six. All right. Then. Okay. That would have been oh. really funny. So there is the middle car. Oh, and he does find the Suchinoko. That is not optimal there for Bryce. I think those are two Dark World cards in hand for Bryce, but I mean he can still play on, right? But he really wanted one of those Dark World cards to be discarded, that's yeah, for that's sure. True. Yeah, so you're either making Saryuja here or you're going to summon and make Dugaris. Looks like we are considering to normal summon absolutely what we are doing. Rank 4, we saw it in game number 1 too, and that, that led to a lot. Yeah. So let's possibly try a, again with the Dugaris. Possibly a bit hasty searching the Saruti there. You could maybe search, you know, like obviously that's the final thing you want to end on and make sure, but maybe you need to do your due diligence and like go through all of your Dark World cards before to make, yeah. before to make sure you have oh, enough resources. Oh, there is the Summon of Silver and now there comes a Lure of Darkness. Can probably, he find a Dark Monster? Probably one of the cards <laughs> he picked up with the Dugaris because otherwise he would have activated it earlier. There's Mothman. There's... Oh, oh Genta there's plus Genta. He drew Genta plus Graffa? That is crazy. I think he probably had one of them already before, but uh, he definitely picked up the Allure there and the Allure Really, really no, the, the Lua drew into Genta and uh, oh, Graffa yeah, true, and true. You're right. the Mothman. No, wait, you're right. Absolutely. You have to be careful here. You can't discard Graffa for yeah. Gates because Graffa's mandatory, so you'll have to pop the Cerule. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> you don't want to pop the Cerule because you want to bounce it and use it again. 
Oh, and I think this is going to be an extra monster zone muckracker, so you can prepare the security dragon right under it. I was thinking, I was trying to think of the arrows of the muckracker, but I think you're right. Is it is it down and uh, down and right? Bottom left. I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I, I mean, uh, down and left, not bottom left. <laughs> like bo bottom, <laughs> bottom left. I was very confused. Yeah, by that would be a link one. That's Almirage. Uh, but yeah, it's it's to the left and to the bottom. So this looks like Ryan uh, is going to start with at most two cards, but two cards is definitely enough with branded. Like a single branded fusion is yeah. If one of them is branded fusion, quite a lot. that works. So Gates of Dark World, but we are still missing some. I mean, you could use the Muckracker now. You have used Security Dragon already, but we are going to draw oh. one card. Now we okay. are able to yeah. discard oh, the Grapple, of course. found another gate! Was that a gate or an ascension? I think that was another gate. Yes, yes. that was yes. another it gate. another gate. Holy guacamole. I mean, at some point you will have to draw into those crazy cards, right? Now Genta is banished. Oh. Ceruli is discarded. Ceruli is special summoned. Ceruli is discarding the silver. Where are all of those uh, cards yeah, going, yeah, Ryan? Yeah. In your deck? <laughs> <laughs> On the bottom. So, how many cards does Ryan have left two. now? Only two cards left in hand. But I mean, the good thing is he, he could decide which ones to keep. Yeah. yeah, at least one of them is an Alibur, right? Is that what he added off uh, the tragedy? I'm assuming it was Alibur. Yeah, it was, but maybe he decided to put that back just now. Who knows? But Bryce is really not out of steam. He did not have to use the Muckracker so far because he drew into those gates. So there are actually some lines that he can go for now. Probably. So we are going to link into... Is that going to be Unicorn again? He did I'm that in game one as well. <laughs> it, discard, it wouldn't spin be for your own gates. But yeah, you can't draw. You can discard this, uh, you can spin the Cerulean. Oh, it's well. Cerberus. Oh, I think that he's is a draw. considering Cerberus, which in fact is a draw. And now the question is, what is the last card in hand for Bryce? Is this a good discard? Chances are it is, I think, Ooh, Nessie. I think we used Nessie already, to be honest. Mm. I, yeah, I, I think, think we used Nessie to summon. Although, I think they'll... Ryan just checking. I think Nessie, the first play of the game was... Can someone rewind the tape? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I mean, pretty sure it was Nessie He already put yeah. it, Chuka, so. Chupacabra up there. Yeah. So yes, we are resolving Nessie to Surge 2, and there is the Chupacabra. But we have that the, did we draw? We have Silver yeah. to bounce as okay, well. Okay, we did draw. Okay, fair enough. Oh yeah, Graffa is now in the graveyard. Silver can go back up to the end. This is just absolutely crazy. Can be discarded again for Muckracker. Remember, guys, he has not used it yet. I know I'm repeating myself at this point. <laughs> you love Muckracker. You're just <laughs> always waiting on I this do. Muckracker the card to be is so used. Cool. So what Sprint. is this going to be? <laughs> Send <Sprint>. Nibble Angler. <laughs> I know you're I, obsessed point, with your sprite cards, but <laughs> I don't think we're going to see that. So... Bry is not even sure, but now there is the Unicorn coming down, and it's probably... Is it going to use its effect? I think he just wanted to get rid of the Graffa so you can bounce another Dark World monster. Oh, I think we're going for Muckraker. Yeah, he's using yeah. Muckraker now. Muckraker targeting the Ceruli, and oh. what is our discard for this? Is he actually going to do the Ceruli the third time using the Muckraker? Maybe you can't. Discarding the Silver. He discards Silver. Silver gets summoned. Is there a way? So really only triggers if it... Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. but you can bounce it, it though with the grapher. Huh? But what is now this? we have to summon a fiend. Yeah. yeah. What kind of fiend is left? Definitely not a Palooza. Oh, oh Nightmare oh, Griffin is a pretty good fiend, Bo. And I mean, Does he have another... Oh, he's just cutting kind of this. To be honest, now, Branded Fusion is not even that great anymore. Yeah, because you, just, you can just set gates, can't you? And that's that. Oh, I think that is... Good point here. So we are double checking through the graveyard. He's setting so a lure. Set I mean, you have the ascension to discard anyway, so you can just bounce yeah. your silver with Graffa. This is a really cool line. Yeah. Dark World can literally do everything. <laughs> yeah, it seems like you are completely free to do whatever you like. <laughs> Even when you're locked into fiends. Yeah, as like, soon as you got to a certain point, you can do whatever you like. You can go for a big combo field, you like, can go I'm for a hand sure. loop. <laughs> he had like one card in his hand a minute ago, and now it's full. I mean, he can, he can just use the accession here, you are absolutely right, to discard the Genta. I think he hasn't used it before. Special Summon Genta, discard the Silver, and then actually activate the accession to have a negate in the big Graffa for the last card that Ryan might draw. Not to mention the Gryphon as well. <laughs> like, there, that is a good point. <laughs> like, it shuts off all of Branded's monster effects. <laughs> that, oh my God. Because they can't get uh, any Link Arrows. The thing is, 
Does Cerulli trigger on the field? Oh wait, does does uh, Silva trigger on the field? Oh. It doesn't, right? Oh, because right. now there's Griffin on the field. No, no, just, but Cerulli defi definitely triggers on the field, though. Yeah, that's so, true. So Silva doesn't, but Cerulli does. So you may have to link off this yeah. <laughs> Griffin. If he still has one. Does yeah. he still does, have a Phoenix in the deck? That is a very, very Phoenix, good question. Maybe? Let me is there a yeah, Phoenix? no, there's no, no Phoenix. So is there any way to link this off? Underworld Goddess. Under yes, oh, indeed. God. Underworld Goddess would be a way to link it off. That is a very weird way, but yes, that would be a way, indeed. The Four thing. plus effect monsters. <laughs> oh, man. And you can't link away the Muckraker. Sure. You can't. Okay, but you have a Graffer. Like, <laughs> strange that Graffer is like the premium link material <laughs> in, in the world. But Look, but Bryce is also checking. I think he just stopped at the Underworld God is, maybe uh, he realized too that that's the only Link monster you can basically summon from here on. Can he discard a Gruffer again later on just to pop the Gryphon? Does it not target an opponent's card? I'm I pretty sure wrong. it does, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, because it's non-optional, you would oh, yeah. non-stop have to sense, pop yeah. your own cards, which doesn't seem too good. Getting some of the Old Dark Wolves. Oh, sorry, they're very old. It has like, Graffer's like secondary effect is hilarious as well. It's like reveal yep. a card in your opponent's hand, and if yep. it's a monster, you get the special summoning. <laughs> so, Bry's really figuring out what to do now. Is there a I'm, line? I'm loving this line that, yeah, the Underworld Goddess. Discard Rainbow. What is? The, I don't know what this discard is for at this point. Uh, I think a session. Was this for a session? Okay. Yeah, we're searching for the Grafa. Oh, we're trying to... Okay, yeah, we just established that it doesn't work, popping your own monster with Grafa. But I mean, at this point, does he just search for a follow-up? Does he just... A session? Okay, we're going for the big Grafa. Of course, Griffin is still really strong yeah. for Bryce. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what I was saying. Like, what is even one Brand of Fusion doing here? Because you are summoning out a monster that can't use its effect in and any way. The Brand of Fusion will also just be changed to a different effect. That suits sure. Bryce a bit well, that on, on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> that will then discard the silver, and then you are... <laughs> and that's going to be it. Ryan draws for three cards in hand. Does he have any to solve this here? This is a riddle that is definitely going to be tough to solve. Let's read the Grafa again. I'm going to bring it up for you guys as well, so you are in the same situation <laughs> as Ryan. I think one card that could be really clutch here is Dark Ruler No More. If he finds Dark yeah. Ruler No More, he still has two cards to play with, one of them potentially being the Branded Fusion. I think that could be a way to pilot out of this situation here. Yep. Oh, but it does not card. look like he has it. That doesn't look too Oh, wait. I mean, to be fair, when you set it, your opponent can't discard it. So that's kind of a plus. <laughs> <laughs> it can be destroyed <laughs> by Grafa. Normal summon Alubur. Wait, uh, he's, he can't even activate the effect. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's a normal, it's a normal summon. summon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think he's setting it, yeah, so it can't be silvered away from his yeah. hand. Yeah, for sure. That must be the, the reasoning. But on the other hand, that also means it can't be Dark Ruler, because he would have just started yeah. off with the Dark Ruler. And on the other, other hand, if he just discards a Graffa that he searched earlier now, he can just pop the set, the set card. Absolutely. But it might be to protect the last card in his hand, so <laughs> that can't be silvered either. Endless mind games here. <laughs> Endless mind games. But like, if you just allow Branded Fusion to be searched and then activated, like... I don't really see what Ryan can do. He still have the Griffin. Yeah. But I think Ryan is just going step by step now. One one step at a time. One, one problem at a time, yeah. <laughs> also a reasonable approach to play around the Grafa, the Overlord Grafa, the fusion monster, is Brennan and Rat, because Brennan and Rat cannot be negated or not be changed uh, by the Grafa. And therefore, I mean, there's only the tragedy in the yeah. graveyard, which is not the best target. So what are you even really going to accomplish with it? But at least it would be a way to somewhat play around it. Also still, then there is the Griffin. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for mentioning that again. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot. Did you? <laughs> I know, it's crazy, but I mean, it's a pretty impressive card. We saw it earlier on that, for example, Jonas Koschel versus Fluan Ries decided to not summon it out because in that matchup it doesn't make sense but there are matchups where this card is amazing yeah. for example a deck that just doesn't use link monsters so there's no way for ryan and his branded strategy to even get to uh, zones that some link monster is pointing to therefore he can just not use special summon monsters and like yeah price is definitely not going to give him any link arrows <laughs> i wouldn't think so no <laughs> would, would be very kind of him Okay, Aluber going to attack 
over the Muckraker, and now he could, yeah, that's what I was thinking. You can just protect the Muckraker by sending the yeah. Graffa to the graveyard. Bryce definitely knows his fiends, and that is something that oh. we're going to see the Brandon and Red now. Brandon and Red onto the Despin Tragedy, and I mean, theoretically, can we summon out a monster that's big enough to run over the Griffin here? We do have to keep one thing in mind, which is the Griffin is boosted by the field Oh, spell. that's true. Also, wow. I think you can just protect again with the Muckraker, right? That's not once per turn as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I don't, it's, I don't think it even activates, actually. Yeah, yeah, but you can just uh, protect, like, he protected for once, but he can protect other monsters with it as well. And yeah, for sure. As we saw, the Nightmare Griffin is indeed a fiend, because he summoned it after the Muckraker restriction. There's Daspian Kuritas now hitting the field, though. Usually I was going to say that Kuritas can just basically get rid of the attack boost by <laughs> setting everything to zero. However, there is a Griffin on the field. Well, let's, let's come up with a different reason for this, which is it's the battle phase and not the main phase. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> fair so enough. Now the question becomes... <laughs> There's two reasons. Do, do we just let our Muckraker go, or do we decide to get rid of something else? I think I keep my Griffin and my Graffer over my Muckraker. Yeah. The thing is, yes, like both of these cards are really strong, but Muckraker is the only card that looks like real follow-up here, besides the Gates, maybe. Okay, yeah, the Gates is good the enough, gates right? Is, it's gates good is, enough. Uh, yeah. But having said that, you can use the Muckraker to bring back the Griffin or the, or the Graffer. Yeah. I mean, so, you kind of want to keep them as interruptions for, for in the this turn, game, right? Yeah. So there is really no chance that Ryan comes back from this. Actually, discounting the tragedy with Mothman is also kind of, kind of a big deal. Kind of interesting now, if Rian now would have a way to get to an additional fusion summon, that extra monster zone now is free. So he yeah. has a zone he can summon to where his monsters could use their effects. But, I mean, what card would that be that would enable him to fusion summon here even? It would be Brandon and Red, and there's not even the monster in the graveyard. Oh, we are discarding Ceruli immediately. Bryce does not want to wait at oh, yeah. all, <laughs> and there is the Griffin again. So, well. That doesn't work. There comes a Lure of Darkness. Bryce really hurrying up here because he realizes there's only uh, six and a half, a little more than six and a half minutes I left on the clock, and he's down in life points. <laughs> so, you know. Still, it, it can't hurt to be, p to yeah. be quick here, yeah. that's for sure. That is true. I think next uh, we're going to reveal Bigfoot. We only have four cards in hand. Still very low chance that Bigfoot is going to be hit there, but you don't want to maximize the chances of it getting hit by revealing the other danger first. So let's go for Bigfoot. Yeah, and I mean, we have to be aware that Despian Caritas also has a graveyard effect. So he shall rather not forget. We are discarding the Bestial Magna Mood here, summoning out another monster with 3,000 attack points here. Oh, oh that is Talents. Ooh. That is that is a really interesting draw at this point. I mean, it'd be you, great if your opponent could activate yeah, monster yeah. effects. <laughs> if you get rid of the Corridas, then it triggers, right? Yeah. So you have to destroy it in the in the main phase. Because at the moment it looks like it's going to be, you know, it's not going to trigger in the battle phase. Uh, it'll trigger in the battle phase if you if you attack yeah. it. So, Bryce again looking for his extra deck, trying to find a solution quickly for what to do here. How is he going to get those two thousand life points? Difference. He's down 2,000 life points. He has to make up for it. And we are discarding the silver. Okay. Strong. That's two more monsters right there. That kind of looks like a solution, to be honest. Uh, having so many monsters Big on monsters the field. Big monsters attack. Yeah. <laughs> and getting two cards it's, back it's to the, the hand again. the classic solution to everything. And Here comes Allure. <laughs> now he's safe because he has so many monsters. Oh, and he drew into Cold by the Grave, which yeah. of course would be an easy solution to the Kuridas now as well. As long as you have a way to destroy it, not during the damage step, right? Yeah, and there is the handshake before Bryce can activate Caught by the Grave. He goes 4-1 and one in this tournament. Dark world! Dark world! It is dark world. I, dark and the crowd world. loves the world. it. Yeah. Yeah. The crowd loves it. Underdog deck going 4-1 in, in the most Un prestigious... Yeah, in the most prestigious event that there is, basically. The 32 best players that battled yeah. through years to come into this qualifier here, and then Bryce just shows up with this deck that nobody expects and just goes 4-1. and one. Now he has to pray a little bit maybe yeah. because it's not safe that he's going to be in the top four because a couple of people will miss with a score of X1. I think it should be up to the sixth place or something. We can't tell for sure because of draws and so on, but like one or two people will miss that are X1 in the tournament. Yeah. I would be very, very excited to see Dark World oh, in, the, in the playoffs. 
I mean, I've enjoyed watching both the games we've seen of it so far. Yeah, that is true. I'm really happy that we got to cast both of the Dark World games. <laughs> yeah. But, guys, we are going to cast some more games in the main event that you are currently watching. Again, we are here on Friday pre-recording this. I can't wait for the top cut of this playoff to start. But <laughs> stay tuned. We're going back to the live content.